Hey everybody, it's Professor Williams, and I'm going to show you how to do a logistic regression, even though you may not have the data mining tool pack. So remember, logistic regression is just a regression method we use when our response variable is binary. So you're going to have to do a little bit of work before you get started. Create yourself four new columns, one for logit, one for e-logit, which is an exponent, column for probability, and then for log likelihood, which is the natural logarithm of our probability. And then create um, a placeholder for your three regression coefficients. So I have B0 for my intercept, and then I have B1 that corresponds to X1, and B2 that corresponds to X2. So I'm going to begin, I'm going to put a placeholder value of 0.001 um, for my regression coefficients. And don't worry about that because what will happen is we're going to optimize it using solver in a little bit. So the first thing that we need to do is um, do our transformation, which are our values for logit. And so the way that we're going to do that is we're going to say equal and take my uh, intercept coefficient, and I'm going to hit function F4 to make that a hard cell reference. To do that, I'm going to add um, the coefficient, hard cell, times my X1 value, and to that I'm going to add my uh, beta 2 coefficient times my X2 value. Don't put in parentheses, just, just like this. And I'm going to hit enter. And I'm going to go, mm, I'm going to go out one more decimal place. And now I'm just going to drag. <clears throat> All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this logit value as my exponent. So I'm going to type in equals exp exponent. It's asking for my number. That's going to be my logit value, close parentheses, hit enter, and I'm going to drag all the way down. So far, so good. The probability is the one that gets a little weird because of your parentheses, right? So <clears throat> we're going to use an if statement. So I'm going to say equals if, open parentheses, my logit test is if my value in for y is equal to 1, comma, then I'm going to take this value in E2, and I'm going to divide it by, open your parentheses, 1 plus E2, close that parenthesis, and now I'm going to say, comma, this is my false, if false, I'm going to take and say 1 minus, and then open your parentheses to say E2 divided by another parenthesis, 1 plus E2 close. And I need to close um, that parenthesis, the other one, and the third one. So trust me when I say this is three parentheses. So we're saying if my response variable is equal to one, I'm going to take the value of the logic, E logic, I'm going to divide it by one plus that value, comma, then I'm going to take, in the case of it being false, I'm going to take one minus this value in E2 divided by one plus E2, and you hit enter. And these are your probabilities. Okay, so today we got those. Now we're going to do the log likelihood. So all I'm going to do is look at the natural logarithm of those probabilities. And I can do that with the um, natural log function in Excel. And it says, what's my number? And my number is going to be my probability. So I'm going to take and <clears throat> I'm going to drag all of those down. Yay. So our chart is finished.
So I'm going to use solver for the regression coefficients. So if you haven't already um, installed solver, then you're just going to go to your file and then all, go all the way to the bottom to options and then to your add-ins. Um, and then just click the solver add-in and go. So the solver add-in is in regular Excel as well as um, 365. So once solver is in, I'm going to go to data and way over next to um, where your data analysis is, you're going to see solver. And so what we're going to do is we're going to sum these log likelihoods because that's what I want to maximize. So I'm just going to make that bold for you. Okay. So solver. And when it says to set objective, I'm going to select the sum of my log likelihoods. And what I'm going to, the variables I'm going to change are the um, three regression coefficients. Right? Your box that says make unconstrained variables non-negative, we're going to uncheck that and we're going to say uh, keep it with the GRG nonlinear um, solving method. And I'm going to hit solve. So it's going to say solver found a solution. I'm going to say OK. I'm going to come down here, and there are my regression coefficients. This solves for if x is equal to, I mean, y is equal to 1, right? That was what we said in our if statement um, up here. So if I want to know, well, what is the regression equation for y being equal to 0, what you're going to end up doing is we're just going to reverse the signs. So <clears throat> this would be 0 0.8, 0.892 here. This would be a negative 0 0.205 here. And this would be a positive 311. So if we think about what we have here, this is y equal to 1, and this is y equal to so it took a little bit of legwork to do, but once you've got it done, um, just watch that formula in your probability and everything else should go smooth as silk. I hope that this helps and I appreciate you watching.